Happy New Year, everyone. 2026 is already heating up, especially if you're trying to figure out what Samsung is really doing with the Galaxy S26 and whether it's worth waiting for. We already went over early hands-on leaks in the last Tech Torch upload, but today's clip is different. It's our clearest, most official peek yet at a feature I've wanted Samsung to nail for years. And it's not just a small tweak. This is shaping up to be Samsung's most innovative Galaxy idea so far, and they're the first company in the world to actually implement it. Samsung has just kicked off their first look event at CES 2026, and while they stayed quiet on the S26 lineup there, we do know exactly when those phones are set to be revealed. Mark it down, we're 51 days away from the official Galaxy S26 launch. Samsung plans to announce the full S26 series on February 25th in San Francisco, California. That's a bit of a wait, but the good news is we don't have to sit here with nothing. We already have our first official look at the new AI privacy display coming to the S26 Ultra. This demo you're seeing is essentially Samsung walking us through how that AI privacy screen will behave on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Once you enable it, the phone dynamically blocks side-angle viewing so people sitting next to you can't see what's on your display. From what's been shown so far, it looks surprisingly effective, even though Samsung hasn't fully broken down the tech behind it yet. That matters because regular privacy screen protectors usually dim your display and make touch input feel worse. This built-in solution should avoid those compromises, which is why it's genuinely next level. So even if the S26 Ultra doesn't end up being the brightest phone on the market, it could still deliver the best overall display experience in a completely different way. And that's only one part of Samsung's 2026 story. There are a few more moves you need to know about, including a leak that actually jumps a full generation ahead. We're already hearing early details on the Galaxy S27 lineup. I know that sounds wild this early, but the info comes from Ice Universe, one of the most accurate Samsung leakers out there, so we have to talk about it. According to his first round of information, the S27 Ultra is finally set to change its main camera sensor, its selfie camera, and the ultra-wide module. The only camera expected to stay the same is the zoom sensor. In other words, Samsung is planning a full sensor refresh across most of the system for 2027, which has big implications for how you plan your upgrades. So if you're already on the S25 Ultra, you'll probably feel comfortable skipping the S26 Ultra and waiting for that bigger S27 camera overhaul instead. But if you're still on something like the S24 Ultra or even the S23 Ultra, then the 2026 S26 release suddenly looks a lot more tempting, especially once you factor in the new hardware and accessory ecosystem. If you missed the last Tech Torch video, there's another major S26 detail. For the first time, Samsung is aiming for native magnetic accessory support across the S26 lineup. You'll be able to snap magnetic add-ons straight onto the back of the phone without a special third-party case, including Samsung's own ultra-slim 5000 mAh magnetic wireless charger that attaches MagSafe style. And that charger is just the start. More magnetic accessories are planned for the S26 series. On pricing, things get a bit messy. Early info suggests that in the US, Samsung is trying to keep S26 prices the same as before, but in other markets, the S26 lineup is expected to go up in price, which isn't great news when the base S26 doesn't seem to be getting many major upgrades. Right now, reports are still all over the place, so it's smart to wait for more solid clarity before making any decisions. Speaking of clarity, Samsung's AI plans are coming into focus. It now looks essentially confirmed that Bixby is getting its biggest upgrade ever, and it might even be fully replaced by Perplexity AI. This is based on software code discovered by Android Authority, so we know this isn't just a random rumor, it's something Samsung is actively building into its devices. That code shows Samsung phones responding to a new wake phrase, Hey Plex, which would launch Perplexity AI so you can ask it to handle tasks and questions in a way that should be far more capable than current Bixby, closer to how ChatGPT works. It fits Samsung's long-term strategy of not relying too heavily on Google Gemini and instead pushing its own perplexity-based experience, turning the S26 Ultra into an AI powerhouse like we haven't seen on a Galaxy phone before. Finally, a quick word on what Samsung did show at CES 2026. 
it wasn't S26 hardware but new TV and display tech, our team Zakare caught a 135-inch micro RGB TV, the world's first that size using Samsung's micro RGB, promising more lifelike colors plus 4K AI Upscaling Pro and AI Motion Enhancer Pro, along with the Galaxy Z Trifold's first US appearance, which looked seriously impressive. We'll go deeper in our CES video, so subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.